Except you didn't handle it. Is it really that big of a deal? Yeah, I think it is. She's seven. It's the kind of stuff kids do. <laughs> Has she done this before? Why would you ask that? Because of what happened in that Andy shack. <sighs> so Morgan did steal their prayer box. I kind of thought we were past this. And you knew she stole it? I was hoping that Andy and Morgan would become friends. It's important that they like each other because we like each other. And you asked Andy to apologize to Morgan? I'm sorry. <laughs> now are we past this? Wait, how did the box get back into Andy's shack? I guess not. You put it there. Maybe it wasn't the best decision. It was a horrible decision. You made it look like it was all Andy's fault. That's not what I wanted to do. You I... made me doubt my own daughter. And even worse, you made Andy doubt herself. Morgan still has a lot to learn, which she will. Yeah, I guess I have a lot to learn too. Knowing when I can trust someone. <laughs> There's no such thing as trusting a seven-year-old. I'm talking about you. Morgan, let's go. We're leaving. Bye. Bye, Morgan. Andy, hey. I want to get a picture with a picture. OK. Say, Leonardo da Vinci's. I thought I would get a better reaction. Oh, hey, that's my granddaughter in that drawing. We won first place! Okay, different pose. Something where it looks like you know each other. Hey, isn't that Bar Mitzvah boy and Phoenix girl? Yeah, that's Buffy and Cyrus. And my boyfriend, Jonah. So glad I captured that moment. What should we do? We should check out the primitive folk art. I wasn't sure if you guys were showing up. Cyrus made friends with an artist who sold him 